another Dorkler action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Ceratosaurus from Axie Toys, the latest in their Dinosaur Battlefield action figure line. Huge thank you to Axie Toys for sending this figure over to me and including me in this promotion. I know uh, D Amazing has a review up already. I think Toy Bro is going to have one as well, so be on the lookout for a couple other color variants of these on those other channels. This is the orange version. I think it's the deluxe orange um, Ceratosaurus. So if you're kind of looking to purchase this specific one, which I, I actually really like the orange. I like the way the color kind of pops on here. It's got a little tiger stripe kind of look to it on the back there. It's a really cool looking dino. Um, it's very much in line with the previous um, regular sized releases. So like the Carnotaurus and like I forget what the first one was, like the original one as well. Um, it's got that same body pretty much top to bottom. Um, the underlying armor parts, like, you know, like this piece of the belt and like the under part of the shoulder armor and may maybe the under part of the leg armor. Like, I think it's all the same. And then they have all these like new parts added on top. Of course, you have the new head sculpt here. Um, I've really grown to like this line. I think it was the T-Rex that kind of did it for me that really just like solidified this line as something that's just very cool and uh, just a lot of fun. Um, and I've kind of shifted my perspective a little bit. Originally, I was like super down with all the like layering of parts and just playing with it and, you know, kind of like you know, just like customizing it and stuff, but I've, I've grown a little more into like the, the minimalistic side. Like, so you see this side has like this piece on top, but if you pull that off, you can kind of go minimal. And I've kind of been leaning towards that, especially with that T-Rex. And like, this is almost like a little too much for me up here. It's cool. And it's fun to experiment and try different things. But like, if you were to pop these armor pieces off of here, you can go even more, like minimal and just kind of like get just like a more like svelte look for these figures. But like every little piece is removable. Like you can take these uh, horns off the armor. You could swap them in for other parts. It comes with like a metric ton of just different pieces that you can mix and match with these figures. So it's really fun. Just a lot of like interesting combinations you can create with these. Um, let's get close up on that head sculpt here. I feel like they're getting even better with the paintwork. I, this does look great. It looks really good. It looks super clean. And those eyes look nice and tight. And you got that articulated jaw here, the inside of the mouth. And yeah, I just, I really like the look of this figure. It does come with a like helmet piece. So you can take this piece here and like pop it right up over those eyes. It's a very soft piece. Um, if you position it right and that can go there and then you've got you know other pieces that you can add on like there's a neck piece i'm not going to go through every single thing because it would probably take like an hour and a half to like show you every single piece but there is some cloth goods here on the bottom a little fur piece and here's a look at the legs and then even the leg armor has pieces that can come off so Again, you can kind of like slim it down and like instead of having these more bulky pieces on here, you could take like little horn pieces and pop them in these holes like and just make it just like a little more slim. And here it is all zoomed out. You can get a good look at the overall shape of the figure. And again, this is the same body as the Carnotaurus and the previous smaller releases. Obviously, it's different from the T-Rex that's a massive, huge figure I'll show in a minute, but this is that core body that this dinosaur battlefield line is built upon. And this stands right about seven and a half inches tall. And here it is next to the T-Rex and the Carnotaurus. So you can see how it looks with other figures in the same line. Here it is next to another orange dino, the Triceraton Zog from the Neck of Mirage Turtles line. And then another lizard with some orange parts, the uh, Camo of the Isles from Savage Crucible on the right. Here you can see how he scales next to a couple Mythic Legions 1.0 sized figures. I think he looks really good there as a dino should, should be a little bit bigger. Next here we have Animal Warriors of the Kingdom and the NECA D&D 
War Duke, and a couple Masterverse figures, He-Man on the left, which is a kit bash, a custom head sculpt, and Buzz Off on the right. And like I said before, it comes with an absolute boatload of accessories. He's got a whole bunch of armor parts. Some of them are actually like on the figure right now, and then there's a ton of like horns and bone pieces. I'll show just like a couple highlights. For example, uh, one piece I kind of like is you can take these little skulls, and they have a hole through the head, and then you can take that and put it right through that horn right there. And so you can have these like skulls kind of decorating the horns. One of the coolest pieces I like with this set is this knife and what I'm calling a sheath, because this is effectively weapon storage for this knife, which is a really cool looking knife right here. I mean, it's got the blood on it. It's got that spiked handle, just a really aggressive piece. And then this actually can slide right in here. And it's nice and flexible, so it kind of gets around. And then it pegs onto the side of the figure with this peg right here. So this is a really cool option for weapon storage. Just brilliant. And then in addition to just like a pair of regular gripping hands, it has an extra set of hands here. This is a wider grip so that you can maybe hold the shield. And then this is just a gesturing type hand right here. And speaking of the shield, here it is. This thing is crazy. Um, I love it. It's beautiful. And I would like to take some pictures with it. But putting the figure on the shelf with this thing, like just adds that much distance. Like it's just a large profile. It's actually two pieces. And it would have been neat if they had, um, like if they had just another option just to kind of like a flatter low profile option instead just to make this a more of a flatter more functional shield would have been really cool um but i mean this look is pretty wild it's 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 kind of neat and then it also comes with this crazy bloody axe that i just love the weapons that these things come with and i love mixing those weapons in with my other lines they're just beautiful pieces i i love them and they're like they're a softer plastic so i'm never worried about like breaking these things just nice quality weapons He's also got a cape that I'm not a huge fan of. It does have some rips and some cool weathering and stuff, and it does have a wire along the outer edge, but I really would need it to have wires. It's so like wide that I wish it had wires down the middle to kind of support posing the cape. As it is, it's not great for posing, um, but it does have two hooks. So if you wanted to hook it onto him, or if you wanted to use it for like a different character or a different figure, you could hook the hooks together and kind of make a ring around a neck. For articulation, you have a ball joint at the base of the neck, and then you also have a ball joint at the base of the head. And so you've got a lot of good motion, a lot of upward, a lot of downward. There's that articulated jaw, and you can twist that head as well. These shoulder pieces peg into the back um, with this separate peg right here. And then when you take those off, you can kind of get a look at the arms. One issue that I've always had with these figures in the arm is it's a, it's not a circular shape shoulder. So twisting it around, like it doesn't really want to twist very well, like trying to swing it around. You can, but you're going to put some pressure on, maybe get a little bit of rub, maybe even pop the arm off if you're moving it around. Um, but you know, you can get a decent range in there. Um, if you really work it, it's just a little bit of work. There is a twist at the bicep. There's a single jointed elbow, comes right up to about 90 degrees. There's a twist above that elbow as well. And you have a twist at the wrist. It's like one of those ball, split ball joints at the wrist there. And then great movement in the torso. So you've got a lot of range here up in that torso. And then there's a ball joint at the bottom of the waist too. That's kind of hard to show, but you can kind of get a sense of it if you rock him back and forth there. And then in the legs, he can kick forward a good amount. He can kick back a little bit, not really too much. He can go out into the splits. There is a um, ball joint at that hip, so you can actually twist it at the top of the leg. You got a single jointed knee. There's a twist above the knee there. And then you have a hinge and a rocker at that ankle there. Anyway, final thoughts. This is a really cool figure. I really like the orange, actually. I love the tiger stripes and the orange look to it. And just kind of like this profile right here is what I really like about this particular figure. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks again, Axie Toys, for including me in this. Go head over to 5K Toys if you want to pick this up. And until next time, may the force be with you.